Okay. Yeah, Parumpa Madhi, you can share, you can uh, start Madhi with prayers. Okay, Prabhuji, should I share my screen? If I, I cannot share the screen, it should yeah, I, I don't have privilege to make you co-host on the computer, on the phone. I don't know how to do that. So proceed, Madhavi. Okay, okay, then I can just start, you know. Yeah, please. Thank you, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narotamam Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayam Udirayet Nashta Prayeshu Abhadreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttamas Loke Bhaktir Bhavati Naishtiki Shri Gurabi Gurchandra Radhika Vitadale Krishna Krishna Bhakta Tat Bhakta Namo Namaha Shri Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasha Adi Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So um, chapter uh, Srimad Bhagavatam uh, Canto 1 The Creation Chapter 19 The Appearance of a Sukadeva Goswami Text 1 Sri Sukadeva Goswami said, while returning home, the king Maharaja Parikshit felt that the act he had committed against the faultless and powerful Brahmana was heinous and uncivilized. Consequently, he was distressed. Text 2. King Parikshit thought, Due to my neglecting the injunctions of the Supreme Lord, I must certainly expect some difficulty to overcome uh, me in the near future. I now desire without reservation that the calamity come now, for in this way I may be freed from the sinful action and not commit such offense again. Text 3. I am uncivilized and sinful Due to my neglect of the Brahmanical culture, uh, Brah Brahmanical culture, God consciousness and cow protection. Therefore, I wish that my kingdom, strength, and riches burn up immediately by the fire of the Brahmana's word, so that in the future I may not be guided by such inauspicious attitude. In the text four. While the king was thus repenting, he received news of his imminent death, which would be due to the bite of the of a snake bird, occasioned uh, occasioned by the curse spoken by the sage's son. The king accepted this as good news, for it would be the cause of his indifference toward worldly thing. Text uh, 5. Maharaja Parikshit sat down firmly on the bank of the Ganges and uh, to concentrate his mind in Krishna consciousness, rejecting all other practices of self-realization because transcendental loving service to Krishna is the greatest achievement uh, superseding all other methods. Text 6. The river by which King sat to first uh, 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 the river by which the king sat to first carries the most auspicious water, which is mixed with the dust of the lotus feet of the Lord and Tulsi leaves. Therefore, the water sanctifies the three worlds inside and outside, and even sanctifies Lord Shiva and other demigods. Consequently, everyone who is destined to die must take shelter of this river. Text 7. Thus, the king, the worthy descendant of the Pandavas, decided once, uh, decided once and for all and sat on the Ganges bank to fast until death and to give himself uh, up to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna. What, uh, who alone is able to award uh, liberation. So freeing himself from all kinds of uh, associations 
and attachment, he accepted the vows of a sage. Text eight. At the at the uh, at that time of all all at the time all the great minds and thinkers accompanied by their disciples and sages who could verily sanctify a place of pilgrimage just by their presence arrived there on a plea of making the uh, pilgrim's journey text 9 and 10 from different parts of the universe there arrived great sages like atri jabana uh, sharadvan uh, arishta Arishtan, Arishtanemi, Rigu, Vashishta, Parasara, Vishwamitra, Angira, uh, Parshurama, Ut, uh, Utatya, uh, Indra, Indra Pramada, Indra Pramada, Id, Idam, Idam, Vahu, Medhatiti, Devala, Ar, Arshti, uh, Arshti uh, Shena, uh, Vajra Dvaja Ga, Gautama and uh, uh, Pipya, uh, Pipalada Maitreya uh, Aurva uh, Kavasha and uh, Kumbayoni and Dvaipayan and the great personality Narad. Text 11. Uh, Give me a second. I, I think I need to read to text surgeon. Okay. Uh, text 11. There, there are also many other saintly uh, demigods, kings, and uh, a special royal orders called uh, Aruna Dayas, a special rank of Rajarshis from different dynasties of sages. When they all assembled, Together to meet the Emperor Parikshit, he received them uh, properly and bowed his head to the ground. Text 12. All, after all the Rishis and others had seated themselves comfortably, the king, humbly standing before them with folded hands, told them of the, his decision to fast until death. And text 13, the fortunate king said, Indeed, we are the most grateful of all the kings who are trying to get favors from the great souls. Generally, you, all, all sages, consider royalty as refused to be rejected and left in a distant place. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Babaji, Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you can start from Monday. You can probably get the menu video also. Really. Yeah, Hare Krishna. Thank you so much, Parama Pawani Mataji. Um, so, yesterday was a beautiful chapter. Um, Maharaj Parikshit was actually um, by the will of Providence. He's uh, you know, getting cursed by a Brahmana boy. Um, so we saw that chapter yesterday. Yesterday, <clears throat> after uh, the Brahmana's boy, actually is a very powerful, um, he was the descendant of Angira Muni. So Angira Muni's uh, descendants, and at that time, and Parikshit Maharaj was uh, very thirsty. He was actually wanting to quench his thirst. Uh, this Brahmana who was meditating, was completely in uh, supreme consciousness. He was almost, it was mentioned that uh, he was merged uh, in in quality one with the Supreme Lord. So he was completely on meditation. And uh, unaware of that, the king actually, uh, you know, again, it was never happened before, but at that point, the king become angry. And... Uh, especially against Brahmanas, it never happened. Uh, you know, his anger was always directed towards the miscreants. So with this time, he was uh, in that uh, mood of anger. He, uh, you know, he just put a dead snake around his neck and that caused uh, the son of Brahmana uh, angry again. And then he was cursed. So Maharaj Parikshit is so, 
great devotee as well as a great emperor he was immediately he was contemplating whether whether the sage was in meditation did i do anything wrong you uh, uh, allows what i did you know how can i do such a act so like that he was contemplating and then suddenly the everyone was uh, feeling remorse including the sage uh, himself the brahmana himself he was uh, actually chastising his own son for the for the cause of degradation and for the cause of uh, kali to enter into this planet you know that was one of the reasons uh, propat says that as long as parikshit maharaj was present on this planet uh, the kali personified could not actually be present anywhere even though parikshit maharaj gave those four places uh, including the gold still kali could not find any of those four gambling places illicit sex intoxication and meat eating places so that's why the kali personified uh, it was said that uh, parishit maharaj was uh, you know the brahmana boy was tricked into cursing parishit maharaj so now today we are seeing the chapter 19 appearance of sukadev goswami so in this chapter uh, suta vacha again uh, suta goswami is elaborating further um, on what happened when parishit maharaj returned uh, returned back home Uh, what was his contemplation? What what was going on in his heart, and all that is revealing. So here, text number one, starting from text number one, Parishit Maharaj was uh, he was feeling remorse, and he was uh, uh, you know he, the Brahmana was he was feeling the Brahmana was faultless. He was feeling remorse for that and for committing such a uh, you know he was considering that like a, such a heinous and uncivilized act. so he was basically uh, putting several words here saying that uh, he was very grave uh, guda tejashi brahmani if such a tejasvi brahmani how can i uh, you know do such an act to him and he was very much depressed su durmanaha so and then he is saying anarya anarya means uncivilized nicham heinous <clears throat> very very heinous act how can i do like that he was contemplating uh and uh, and he was just contemplating upon himself he didn't you know it was not like a discussion but he was just thinking upon himself vichintayan like vichintayan atmakrutam so whatever he has done he is contemplating upon himself and then further parikshit maharaj is uh, thinking uh i must have neglected the injunctions of supreme lord you know uh, so definitely now because he is he definitely knows the brahmanas and cows are so dear to supreme lord now uh, he has done uh, this particular act of offending a brahmana so he is he is kind of expecting a difficulty to come in the future um you know so that uh, he is even desiring so desiring to have that kind of a calamity in the future so that he will be freed from such a sinful action and he will not commit that activity again so that was his contemplation so he was willingly you know right now his mood is he is willingly wanted to accept a, a punishment for this this act that he has done so here again um, is saying um, Uh, kamam hi aga aga is the papam like sins nishkrutaya so i want to get rid of this i want to free myself from this sin papam so that's why he was uh, uh, you know he is being uh, such a exalted vaishnava he is getting all these feelings and emotions so now in text 3 um so again this uh, is saying that uh, how can i neglect the brahmanical culture you know so so you can see how great the vaishnava he is he understood the perfect need of brahmanical culture in the society and he being the head of the whole um, you know king he is the king himself you know ideally he is setting the example so he is feeling that how did i you know miss this brahmanical culture how i become so uncivilized 
and three things are mentioned here brahmanical culture god consciousness and cow production so these three things uh, are the um, pillars of progressive uh, economical spiritual and all the well being of the society so that's what uh, and the bashim also propat quotes and this verse also uh, it is mentioned um brahma kula kula nalo nalo rajyam balam ruddha kosham uh, brahma kula analaha dahatu abadrashya punaha so here um, one who neglects such a brahmanical culture is uh, basically doomed so that's what um all kinds of inauspicious things will happen abadra abadrashya so therefore he is saying therefore my kingdom strength riches burn up immediately by the fire of brahmana's wrath so that in the future i you know he'll not be guided by such inauspicious attitudes so here again we can see that uh, his contemplation on the actual facts um of neglecting the brahmanical culture and uh, you know based on the fact of shastra you know what he is understood and these three things propad in the purport he says that these three things are uh, very much needed in the society for flourishing uh, flourishing prosperity um, so the king the head of the state should uh, nicely take care of brahmanical culture brahmanas and progression of you know uh, supporting the brahmanical culture and propagating krishna consciousness god consciousness and especially cow protection also and these three things are uh, like the pillars it was mentioned and now uh, while the king was repenting uh, what happened was uh, he received the news of this uh, curse that was made by brahmanas boy and we can understand here that uh, how the brahman brahmanical culture was so uh, great that the the curse of a small boy he was actually a descendant of angire rishi but the curse of a small boy was so taken so seriously and the news spread all over the place and and everybody is so sure that it is bound to happen so what was the curse it was tataksh tat takshaka akyaha so takshaka is like the bird a snake uh, also it's a bird uh, taksha so it, the by the bite of this snake bird the king is going to die in 7 days so that was the uh, curse and uh, the king actually sa sadu mene na chirena taksh takshata nalam prashaktasya virakti karanam so the king actually who is uh indifferent i mean he is not attached so he took this message as a good news you know because he is a great sadhu so he took it as a uh, good news because we can see from all of the previous verses he was contemplating how you know it was so bad that the activity he did and uh, let him overcome by some uh, imminent calamity so now the calamity has come and the and the king is taking it as accepting that and he is not trying to overcome it you know he is just accepting it and you know because of this emotions and feelings he is going through now in text 5 maharaj parikshit after uh, he actually hands over the kingdom to uh, his son janamejaya and then uh, uh, parikshit maharaj now he sat down on the uh river ganges banks of ganges so here in the verse it is said that uh, um krishnangri sevam adi manyama manyamana so he was trying to meditate on the supreme lord krishna krishnangri sevam and he is uh, uh, sitting on the banks of ganges amrutya nadyam so the the word used for the river is Am, amartya nadyam so certain uh, jiva goswami says that this is actually uh, also yamuna or ganges and looking at the location 
uh, it's uh, New Delhi, uh, but Hastinapur, it must be Yamuna, which is uh, which is mentioned as ten times more purified than Ganges because of the touch of the lotus feet of Krishna and, and all of the Krishna's pastimes happened in River Yamuna. And further going, the text six, the river. Um, it was mentioned the the auspicious qualities of the river. It carries the most auspicious water, which is mixed with Tulasi Vimistraha. So Krishnangri Renu. So Krishna's lotus feet touch dust of his Krishna's lotus feet and the Tulasi Vimistraha, like the Tulasi leaves from his lotus feet, all this mixed Punati Lokan, like it is uh, it is actually uh, purifying the worlds inside and out, three worlds. And even sanctifies uh, great demigods like Lord Shiva and other demigods. So consequently, it was also mentioned here, those who are um, about to die can take shelter of this uh, river. So it was mentioned. Kastam na sevata marishya manaha. So anyone who's about to die should take shelter of this river, it said here. And the king... Um, he was a descendant of Pandavas. He was grandson of uh, Arjuna and son of Abhimanyu. So he was uh, decided, what he has decided is uh, to fast until death. You know, there is no, uh, he's not going to eat, uh, you know, all these seven days. He's going to fast and he's going to com give completely uh, unto the lotus feet of Krishna, Vishnu Padyam. Dado Mukandangrim Ananya Bhavo Munivrato. Munivrato is the sage of uh, Muni, like he is very strong Vrata. Mukta Samasta Sangaha. So he wants to be relieved from, uh, liberated from all of his, uh, this material association, you know, free from. Uh, so that was his, uh, um, you know, why he came to Ganges, that that was what. The king was decided and now in verse 8 at that time spontaneously out of the will of providence so this is arrangement of lord krishna that uh, all of the great mahanubhava monaya sa sishya so mahanubhava is all the great sages monaya the sages and sa sishya so all of these disciples also appeared along with the sages and uh, what kind of a personalities they are they are Prayena Tirtabi Gam Gama Padesh Padashaya Swayam hi Tirtani Punati Santaha. So they are they are Swayam, they are themselves the holy places personified, but they came here in the uh, the reason on the reason of making a pilgrimage. So they just they all came here. They, the reason they gave is we are going on a pilgrimage. But they are themselves uh, personified Tirthas. So that was mentioned here. And who came and also is mentioned in verse number 10, 9 and 10. So beginning from Atri Rishi here, uh, all the exalted Vaishnavas, including Krishna Daipayana, Vyasudev, Narada Muni, and Nangira Muni, Shavana Muni, all of the great personality, including uh, Vashishta, Vishwamitra, Parashurama, uh, Devala, Asita, like Devala we heard in Bhagavad Gita also. So Maitre Rishi who was having conversation with Vidura, all these great personalities were uh, present. So at that point, now uh, it was mentioned that, uh, you know, so they all here and uh, what is happening, what special thing is happening, Parikshit Maharaj is here and they know that Parikshit Maharaj he is actually a very special personality. Now he is going to leave to the Goloka Vrindavan. Now this is very... And also Sukhadeva Goswami is going to speak Bhagavatam. So they all uh, wanted to take advantage of this situation. And they were present personally to um, you know, bless Parikshit Maharaj and also to listen from Sukhadeva Goswami. So here uh, again it was mentioned that... Uh, uh, um, so many uh, demigods also appeared. And then other uh, personalities, Raja Rishis, Devarishi, Brahma Rishi Varya, Raja Rishi Varya, Arunadayascha. 
so there were certain or certain particular uh, lineage called arunadayas they are called raja rishis they also appeared on this uh, ganges uh, banks of uh, yamuna river so when all then they all appeared parikshit maharaj abhyarcha raja sirasha vavande so sirasha means he is bowed his head and welcomed all of them on this uh, on this place and then verse number uh, 12 so here after all the rishis have come they are all seated comfortably uh, now the king is actually bowing before folding hands and now he is uh, you know giving his decision that i have decided to fast until death so you know everybody in this news spread all over the place that takshaka the snake bird is going to bite and the king uh, fire and out of that fire the king is going to be you know leaving the body so all this news of spread now um, they were all looking up to the king what was the decision now the king spoke that okay he is going to fast until death so here also um, upavishta upa upavishteshu like they all seated and uh, having uh, um so here the specific decision was given that uh, um abigrihita panihi so with folded hands he decided okay he told all of them chikirshitam so i am fasting um, until death and now the last verse for today verse number 13 raja vacha so king parikshit was uh, saying aho vayam dan danyatama nupanam so what actually uh, great you know he is so, so um, great grateful for all of these great personalities mahatmanu anugrahiya anugrahaniya uh, so he is uh, anugrahaniya silaha so what is this great favor that i am getting all of these wonderful personalities mahatmas were here and they consider the the king who is actually in a very exalted uh, opulence to be a refuse like you know it's like rejected uh, mate- no, they are not attached to material opulence so how can such personalities come to this uh, you know uh, this place and you know i'm so favored today so he is considering um, um he is basically thanking and for their favor and at this very op- very moment that he is leaving the body and uh, so basically glorifying all the sages uh, at this point yeah this concludes verse number 13 hare krishna thank you very much yeah thank you so much krishna thank you so much very nice class इनके नाम पर बिजनेसेस सेमत बहुत उनकी जय श्री रूपा जी की जय और बिजनेस टू ऑल द डिग्रीज मानचंद तो कर बेशक पास में दो बेशक पंचानन पाव लेबियो अश्विनी लेबियो नाम नाम थैंक यू गुड टू हरि थैंक यू वेरी मच हरि कृष्ण हरि कृष्ण प्रभु हरि कृष्ण प्रभु जी थैंक यू